Well, here's something I just planned last night. The Ohio State Fair. Did not even know this was going on until last night. So decided to go ahead and come while I'm in the area. Get a few coaster credits. Check out some entertainment maybe. So I got some entertainment right inside the gate here with the squire. So Oklahoma City State Fair and especially Tulsa State Fair. Take note. The Ohio State Fair is free parking. Free parking, efficient parking. You don't have to wait 45 minutes to get parked. And it's only $10 admission. So come on now, Tulsa. We're like half the size of Columbus and yet we're charging an arm and a leg to get into to just get to the fair. And it takes forever to get in. Here, you get parked super quick and it's free. Get in the gate super quick. Everything super quick here and efficient. Tulsa, State Fair, city half the size, disaster. That's why, that's why I hate the Tulsa State Fair. And it's really turned me off of fairs altogether, but I come to one like this and I get it. So the fair opens at 10, rides open at 11. And there are two ride sections. You got Kitty Land, which I'm going into here now. I'm gonna see what the rules are on any kitty coasters before buying tickets, and then I'll go check out the main midway. Okay, the Choo Choo Express. If you are over 60 inches, you cannot ride in the front, uh, but I guess you can ride in the back cars. That's four credits. So this is Tally's Amusements providing these rides. I wasn't sure if I was even gonna get one coaster credit today because I was gonna do the Indianapolis Zoo with their one coaster, but it might, it may be already raining there. It's gonna probably supposed to rain here later, but I should have plenty of time. It's already got an Iron Dragon. I'm not sure if this is SDC, if this is Pinfari, or who knows, but it's a coaster credit. I know for sure I haven't ridden this one anywhere else. The drop tower is just sitting there at the top. I thought it was about to drop. Six credits, this is their biggest coaster. But there's uh, four others here. Not sure which one of those I can do, but I just went ahead and did the unlimited wristband anyway. Just figured, just why not? Dragon's Nest. Another new coaster credit. Is another swing launch coaster, just like Pantheon. Just as good as Pantheon. It, uh, there are two tires, so the tires propel you backwards to start, and then you roll forward, and then it, then it throws you forward. So tire propelled launch, backwards, then forwards. You go around uh, three or four times. So this one is a no-go. It says too tall to ride in front. Looks like it's about 54 inches or so, too tall to ride in front, or maybe about, yeah, somewhere, something like that. I was able to get Orient Express. I have actually ridden one of those little power coasters before. It's kind of an embarrassing coaster credit, actually. I'll take these instead. So I've gotten three so far here. There's one more I can get. I figured there would be one I wouldn't be able to, that I wouldn't be allowed on. And that certainly looked like the one. But this was a fun ride. If you ride in the back car, you will get some good laterals through the, through the helix. It's actually somewhat forceful. That's no kitty ride, not in the back. I like the facade of this one. Some of these fair coasters do have good, have a good presentation to them. So I was able to finally get on Slinky Dog Dash. I mean, Wacky Dog. It's their Wacky Worm. They were an hour and a half late in getting it open. I was on the first train out, I believe. I'm happy I stuck it out. I was actually planning to leave. I was hoping to get all the coasters done and be out by noon but it's almost one o'clock now. That's okay though. I was happy to get the fourth coaster credit here. Four out of the five. All for that, I'm allowed to ride. So we had an Orient Express, Wacky Dog, Dragon's Nest, and the Zyklon Galaxy over here. Tron, is that what it's called? Iron Dragon as the four coasters you can ride here. And 
would say the two best rides at this park are gonna probably be this and the drop tower right next to it. All right, take it back. This is probably the best ride here. So that'll be it from the Ohio State Fair. It was $10 admission, $30 for the ride wristband. So $40 even, I got four new coaster credits. So four coaster rides, 10 rides on the flat rides and other things. So 14 rides in total in two hours, 40 bucks. Like I said, Oklahoma City Fair and Tulsa State Fair, get your act together. 40 bucks here. And at those fairs, I, I don't remember Oklahoma City, it's probably just as bad as Tulsa, but at Tulsa, you're probably, I think you're paying like 60 to $70 for a ride wristband. Here it's 30, half the price. Parking is cheaper. It's free. Admission is cheaper. And there's more here. And they got a bigger population. But come on, Tulsa. Why can't you be like the Ohio State Fair? Hello.